who do you play and what's going on in the, your character's life mm. when we first see her? Mm. I play Ingrid, uh, a Danish artist in, uh, in New York at this time. Uh, she is part of the Warhol crowd. And uh, when we see her in the pilot, she reconnects with Devon, uh, who's played by Olivia Wilde. And we don't learn a lot about them or their history in the pilot, but it's clear that they used to spend a lot of time together in the past, and it's been a while since they've seen each other. And um, I think, hopefully, it's also clear that there is a lot of um, real friendship and um, a lot of love for each other and, and wanting each other to, to do well in life. Can you talk about um, um, the Andy Warhol crowd and what, what they were all mm. about? Mm. The Warhol crowd was a lot of people who felt out of place where they came from, often at Warhol, Warhol himself from a small country, uh, small uh, town, and feeling like, you know, the odd man out or the freak even and longing to find a place to belong. And he, w he was able to create this place where you w were just allowed to be whoever you were and even uh, explore different sides of yourself uh, that you maybe didn't even know about until you came there. Um, of course, there was a lot of, um, well, sex and, and drugs and all that, but I think the, the, the main reason it was so attractive to people was the the chance to be yourself and not be judged. Now the the 70s were a really interesting time. Um, what did you find? What did you learn about it from your research? What was what was happening? All the changes from from the Second World War to where? Can you talk about that? How, how, how the culture changed? Um, well, I think after the the Second World War and all through the 60s, there was this you know boom of all of a sudden. Uh, you know, uh, wealth and money and opportunity and, and everything was just on, on a climb. Uh, and then I think in the 70s, it seems to me that a harder reality started to hit. And um, there's that also been, you know, with the, the Cold War and the Vietnam War, there was also a lot of, of rough stuff going on. And uh, it seems to me that more and more people felt the need to express uh, their desire to um, not just to be who they were, but also to you know, not support the war. I, I'm sorry if I'm lacking some words every now and then, uh, but it, it seems to me that more and more people wanted to uh, express disagreement with the government and, and all that stuff. and. Um, and more and more, I think the focus became on the individual, and uh, the music in particular seemed to be able to express a lot of those feelings and to talk maybe sometimes more directly to people's raw emotions and, and sometimes without logic. Uh, and uh, I think a lot of people found that really seductive and uh, sometimes even empowering. Um. Martin Scorsese, he, how did how did it come that you are audition for this piece? How did you get? Mm. Uh, well, I have uh, agents here in America, and they sent me the audition material and said they they are looking for a European actress, and if you respond to the material, you know, please put yourself on tape. I was back in Denmark, and uh, it was great material and wonderful people on board. So I of course responded very positively to the material. So I, I did a tape in Denmark and sent it over, and the casting director liked it and had a few notes, and so I did it again the next day and I sent it over. And then after three or four days, I, I got the message that they had hired me. So it was really from a distance and without meeting anybody. Uh, so the first time I met anybody was coming over for the fitting and the tape read and eventually the, the shooting of the pilot. What what sort of a director is, is, is Marty? What, what, what sets him apart from other directors, would you say? He is really good at setting up the environment around him, picking the right people, getting the set right, getting everything right. And of course, he has a very clear vision in his head, I'm sure, uh, which means that on the day, 
there is a lot of freedom, a lot of calmness, uh, and he's very good at not forcing you to do anything, but really inviting you to contribute, and then taking what you offer and just mold it a little bit. And for me, that's the most wonderful way to work because you feel like you can actually contribute creatively, and rather than being pushed into some form, uh, you are allowed to well shine. Um, are you a fan of the music from the 70s? I've become one. I didn't know a lot of about it beforehand, but uh, I, I, I've listened to Patti Smith and uh, Velvet Underground and Stones, of course. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan. And I've even started buying vinyls now instead of just streaming from Spotify.